Okay, so here right now we are going to start um, studying, which is topic unit number five, which uh, is fear. And here we have, uh, first of all, we have three images. Uh, two of them are from the book and one is not. I would like to have a volunteer to explain why are these three images uh, related to the topic fear? Any volunteer? <clears throat> Just look at the three images and um, you may tell me what is the relation of these three images with the topic fear. If there are no volunteers, of course, I will call uh, some of your names. Maybe height. Heights, yeah, that's a good one. Thank you. Anyone else? Armijos, help me um, answering that question as well, please. Uh, um, scattered boy. Scare boy, thank you. That's a scare man, of course. Thank you, Milton. Okay, so those um, that's the relation of these three images uh, with the topic fear. And I hope you guys check the book. Here, there's a phrase I wanted to share with you, which says we are at home, not due to fear, but safety. And this is uh, important, and I found it important because uh, you know the current situation we are going through. And uh, that's the truth. We are not at home due to fear because we are afraid or, or stuff like that. No, we are because we need to be safe and it's our security. So I hope you guys are doing, taking advantage of this time at home and doing something productive. Now, first of all, here, uh, we have some rules concerning the Zoom lessons, and, and you also have this in Milaulas. First of all, is that you have to be on time. You know, we have only 40 minutes per week, so it's mandatory to be on time. Of course, you have to keep uh, control of your own microphone. You have to mute uh, the mic when it's necess necessary, and also unmute it when you have to participate. Uh, cameras have to be on you have to be prepared with the material and also the activities you have to do in advance. Um, finally, we have that you have to join the class using your name and last name. Otherwise, you will be out of the class. Now, <coughs> to start the class, we have three questions. Any volunteer to read these three questions? Can anybody help me reading these three questions? Come on, guys, it's not that difficult. So let's have, Ooh. yeah, who said I? <laughs> what, what's fear? Yeah, thank you, Marcos. How does fear work? Um, when was the last time you were afraid? What happens? Thank you. So these three questions we are going to discuss right now. For the first question we have, what's fear? I need, uh, you may provide examples, definitions, maybe synonyms. So who wants to go first? What about Figueroa? What's fear? Uh, 
Uh, I don't know, teacher. You don't know what's fear? No. No? Any idea? Not at all. What about, I have also, the lies. What's fear? Not here. What I am fear? bad, I am, I don't know where it is fear. You don't know what it is, okay, thank you. Uh, what about Matias Muñoz? Do you know what's fear? When you feel scared. When you feel scared. Yeah, good. Thank you. What about uh, how does fear work? I? No. Oh, if you want to do it, go ahead. Can you repeat the question, please, teacher? It's on the screen, the second one. How does fear work? What makes it, uh, what are the effects? What uh, does it make you feel? Uh, you don't productive and don't productive. Um, um, no, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Matias. What about Samantha? Samantha, how does fear work? <clears throat> I think, for example, in the case, my hands are on cold when I feel scared or like that. I don't yeah. know. I, I didn't. I don't, I don't know what it means fear exactly. You don't know but I, the meaning of fear. But I think that because my friend said that it means scared okay so uh thank you samantha yeah feeling cold or maybe you uh even our we get nervous when we are afraid or when we feel fear <clears throat> what about um the third question here uh let's go with um let me check Marianne, when was the last time you were afraid? What happened? Sure, I don't know. Uh, what is afraid? Afraid? It could be like a scare. Ah, uh, uh, the butterflies. Mm -hmm. I don't like. You don't like, so what happened? Because Any anecdote? No, uh, I have a uh, aspect like, no, I don't know, but I don't like. Okay, thank you, Marianne, very good. That's a good example. That's your phobia. What about, um, let me see, Sarmiento. When was the last time you were afraid and what happened? Not here. So go ahead, please. Uh, when was the last time you were afraid and what happened? Okay. So just type your answer in the chat, no problem. Okay, so I'm going to tell you something. Uh, for example, yesterday I was afraid because before starting a class I had, because I had some problems with my microphone, so I didn't know if it was going to work or no, and I was nervous a lot because if it doesn't work, it means I won't be able to teach anything, and that was going to be a problem for me. That's why I was afraid of, of um, not having the chance to teach the class, but at the end, I, I were able to do that. I just had to fix something. And I was uh, like uh, doing some research to know how to fix that problem. So a threat is like a scare, being scared, you're not sure about something, you feel nervous. 
so that is fear. Now, what's the the Spanish word for fear? Miedo. Thank you. Yeah, that's that's the one. So we are going to talk about um, things that we are afraid about. We are going to talk about phobias. In this case, we are going to look for. Uh, I mean, to look at um, being afraid of heights. Did you guys check the video that we have in Milaulas? Just type the answer, please. Yes or no? Everyone, please uh, type your answer. Did you watch the video that is in Milaulas? Just be honest, say yes or no. What video? Jordi, there's a video of the unit in Milaulas. Uh, there's always material that you have to check, to check in advance, and also it says to do an exercise, but for this time, as this is the first class of the unit, uh, we are going to do those exercises here in class. However, for the following classes, you have to do some stuff in advance, okay? So make sure you check Milaulas one day before of the class, so you may do that. And it won't take a long time, just maybe 10 minutes, no more, so make sure you check that. So, as I said, we are going to do before you watch and while you watch exercises. First of all, please, um, in one minute, I, I think you will be able to do the first, ex the first exercise. So, please do before you watch. There you have some words that you have to match with the definitions. Let's do that, please. So in the first exercise, we have some words like acrophobia, daring, ner nerve wracking, we have a skyline and we have vertigo. Now, for acrophobia, can anybody tell me what's the letter of the definition of that word? Letter C, good job, Joseph. Good job. Now let's go with daring. What's the letter for daring? B. Could you please repeat that? For daring? Letter B? No, it's not letter B. Letter A. Letter A, good. When you dare to do something, it's that you give it a try. Even though you are maybe afraid or scared, you just do it. What about nerve wracking? Letter E. No. What is no. nerve wracking? Letter B. Letter B. Perfect. What about a skyline?
D, teacher. D, very good. And what about, uh, we have vertigo? C. Letter, no, it's not C. C was already taken. Oh, <laughs> E. Letter? E. E, of course. So just in case you didn't listen to the answers, we have acrophobia, letter C. We have daring, letter A. We have nerve wracking, B, skyline, D. And the last one is letter E. Thank you. Any question about those words? Is that a no? Okay, so right now we are going to watch the video. Uh, please pay attention and we are doing the exercise that says while you watch, there you have some statements and you have to choose uh, whether they are true or false, okay? This is the skyline over Los Angeles, California. The photo is taken from a slide that is on the outside of a skyscraper. The slide is made of very strong glass and is attached to one of the tallest buildings in Los Angeles. You slide for 45 feet or 14 meters. At the end, you land on the 69th floor. The sky slide is 1,000 feet or 300 meters above the streets of Los Angeles. It's not a place to be if you have vertigo or acrophobia, a fear of heights. The glass is only one and a quarter inches or 3.2 centimeters thick, but the glass is normally used in places where they have hurricanes and earthquakes. Safety was uh, our top uh, priority when we were developing this this slide um, you know it's it's ready to withstand uh, hurricane level winds um, the glass actually is similar to that of uh, of the glass that they use in florida for, to, to prevent against uh, damage from from uh, destructive hurricane winds uh, the steel is aerospace uh, engineered steel in some components so it's it's a very uh, technologically sound. Um, the slide itself can withstand a an eight on the Richter scale for an earthquake. So what is the experience like? This woman explains that you go faster than you expect. You go around in a curve pushed up against the glass. It's like you see the whole world below you. But it's not really that scary. <laughs> So, one person thinks it is not scary, but what do other people think? This woman is afraid of heights and wanted to face her fear. I thought it was nerve-wracking and exciting and like daring, and I just had to do it because I'm so afraid of heights and I just wanted to like break that fear. Los Angeles is not well known for its tall buildings. I think that this is weird for LA because we don't really do like sky decks or you know viewing platforms because we don't have that many tall buildings. So, so it's exciting to have this available to people as a place to come up and kind of see and enjoy the city. I think it's cool. Would you dare to go down this slide to see these amazing views? Okay, so tell me, would you dare to go to this slide? Anyone? Any volunteer? <clears throat> no one. What about Jimenez? <clears throat> Jordi, would you dare to go and try this slide? Yes. So you are not afraid of heights? Uh, I'm a little afraid of heights, but 
it's a very beautiful place and I want to go. Mm -hmm. Very good, sometime. thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometime. Thank you. What about another person? Let me check. What about Renato? Renato Brito, would you dare to go to this slide? Or do you feel scared? Um, yes, teacher, I, I really, <laughs> I really is, is scared. Um, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to... So you won't try it, right? Uh, here, teacher, repeat, repeat, please. You said that uh, you are afraid of heights or no? Um, yes, yes. Yes, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and for me, it's the same thing. I couldn't do that. It's kind of impossible. Thank you so much for your answers. Now let's move on. Uh, let's check the exercise that we have in the book. Okay, so we have here number one. The slide is inside a skyscraper, two or false? False. False, perfect. What about the second? True. Could you please repeat? True. 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 Are you sure? Three centimeters yeah. thick? Yeah. Any other response? Yeah, true. True. Hmm. Anyone else? It says the slide is made of approximately three centimeters thick. Actually, that one is false because they said it's 3.2. And here it says three. That's why it's false. Uh, in the sentence, it says approximately. <laughs> no, yeah. they Yes, but that one is uh, false, as I said. What about number three? The glass is used in places that normally has hurricanes and earthquakes. True. True. True, perfect. What about number four? False. False, and number five? False. 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 Thank you. Okay, thank you, guys. Do you have any question? No. Okay, so let's move on to the next page. We are going to do a vocabulary exercise. Okay, so we have here uh, vocabulary words that are involved. We have audience, connect, involve, limit, memorize, speech, athletes, and topic. We are going to match these words with the definitions that we have. From one to eight, we have definitions. And from A to H, we have the new words. So let's start matching, please. Okay, so we have number one. It says people who are good at sports, especially athletics, and take part in sporting competitions. What letter is that? Letter G. Letter G. G. Perfect. What about number two? A subject that you speak or write about? H. 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 Perfect. What about number three? To show a relationship between one person or thing and another. 
C. B. B. Okay, yeah, that's B. That's B. What about number four? We have to learn something so that you remember it perfectly. E. E. E, yeah, when you learn it by heart. What about number five? A, norm, a formal event when someone speaks to a group of people. S. Mm -hmm. A. A. S. F. F. Yeah, that is letter F. Then we move on. The next one that we have here. Um, yeah, number six, to prevent a number, amount, or effect from increasing past a, re a particular point. D. Yep, that's letter D, perfect. What about number seven, to include something or someone as a necessary part of an activity or event? C. Mm -hmm. And what's the last one? Um, A. Yeah, that's letter A, good, thank you. Questions so far? Teacher, memorizing is uh, to learn. I mean, when you memorize something, are you learning or just repeating words? <laughs> uh, so actually you are learning it, but um, there's a process of internalizing the information. So you are learning it. You're learning it by heart. So it means like uh, if there's a pause, you will remember that there's a pause. It's like okay. having a perfect, uh, okay, teacher, perfect way of repeating something. Of course that uh, sometimes it may be just repeating, but the objective or the aim is that you internalize the information, of course. Okay, thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. Questions so far? Here. Okay, so here you have, uh, we are going to concentrate our lesson, well, this one a little bit, the, the, pre, the following lesson on fear of public speaking. And here you also have on this image, you have more types of phobias that exist. You may check this later on, of course, this is just additional information. Now, uh, here we have the parts of a speech because as I said, we are going to focus on the, uh, the fear of public speaking. And basically the speech is divided in three parts. We have the beginning, which is the introduction. Then we have the main body, which is like the most relevant part. And at the end, we have the conclusion. As you can see here, we have them with three different colors because they are different. And we are going to check some organizational phrases uh, which help us to show order when speaking. And I know that there are many, many of them, but we are going to check just some instances. So we have the first one, I'm talking. And I have, uh, in your videos, I have noticed that you usually say, I'm gonna talk, which is perfect, yeah. We may also say, I'm presenting, and firstly, secondly, thirdly. In the main body, which is uh, when you start explaining or giving more information, we may have, let's get started. The first point is, the second point is, uh, we give uh, em we may give emphasis as well, saying an important point is additionally besides plus, just using uh, transitional words. And to end a speech, we may use to conclude, which looks like conclusion. To conclude, we may have let me conclude. And in short, as I said, there are many of them, many. But we are going to focus on these because um, they are in some of the audio tracks that we are going to use in our classes. Now, <clears throat> so in exercise, let me check, uh, where, well, 
this is something you have to bear in mind because next class we are going to do a listening exercise using these phrases. So just you know this in advance. Now let me, oh no, let me hold on. Yeah, okay. Now I would like to know if you have uh, any phobia or if you are afraid of something. Of sleeping, like, teacher. Of sleeping? Yep. Why? Because I feel like I don't exist when I am sleeping. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's, it, Never thought about like, that one. <laughs> I don't know why, but I, I think I put on YouTube, I searched, and I, I'm afraid of sleeping. And there was a lot of people. There were a lot of people too. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's new. I think I will Google that as well. <laughs> Anyone else? This is time for sharing ideas. Tell me, tell me, how are you doing at home? Yeah. Yes, uh, Salome, go ahead. I'm afraid about chickens. <laughs> chickens. Oh, I have heard that one before. I have a friend who had the same phobia. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. Do you eat? Yeah, but I am afraid when they are alive. <laughs> okay, so you just eat the chicken. Yeah. But yeah. you cannot say it. Okay, thank you, Salome. Anyone else? To tell us uh, what's your phobia or something? COVID-19. Say what? COVID. Coronavirus. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but remember what I said. It's not because that we are afraid of it. No, we have to stay at home because of our security. <laughs> it's the, uh, that's the way we have to handle the situation. So guys, this is a question you have to bear in mind to analyze. Maybe if you want to write an answer, this is the question you have to analyze. What are you afraid of? What are your phobias? Uh, what, what's, what makes you scared? Sometimes we all, we all have phobias. And that's the question we will be discussing next class, okay? The question is, I'm going to repeat. What are your phobias? What are, what are you afraid of? And you will have to share that information next class, okay? Now, concerning the assignment you have for next class, mm, let us skip this one, yeah, here. This is the assignment. In activity guide number one, is in mil aulas, first of all, you have to do a listening exercise, which is on page 120. For this exercise, you have to take a picture and paste it in the Word document. And the other exercise is Macmillan. You have to work in Macmillan, three first exercises, okay? So that's what you have to do for next class. Guys, thank you so much for today's class and hope you are doing good, as I said. Take advantage of this time and do something productive, okay? Questions? Mm, could, could you repeat, teacher, what do we have to do? Yeah, here we go. Uh, let, hopefully it won't close. We have here a student book page 120, and Macmillan. Okay, thank you. Okay, so thank you guys, thank you so much. Goodbye and have a good week. Goodbye. See you. See you guys, goodbye, take care please. Goodbye teacher. Goodbye guys. <laughs>